Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and you are watching the EV screen. So we have news about Volkswagen today. Are they actually asking Volkswagen chief executive Herbert Dies, the architect of German car makers multi-billion euro push into electric vehicles will leave the company within weeks after being forced out by union leaders and shareholders. The 63 year old who would who took over the years following the Volkswagen emission scandal will be replaced by Porsche chief executive and former Volkswagen manager Oliver Blum from the start of September. This his departure follows a vote by Volkswagen's supervisory board which is controlled by a loose alliance of workers, representatives and the state of Lower Saxony. The company's second largest shareholder, the 20-seat board, which includes representatives from Volkswagen's anchor shareholders, the Porsche Peach family, voted unanimously to replace Dees according to two people with direct knowledge of the matter. Dees had made it his mission to catch up with Tesla and become the world's largest electric car producer by the middle of the decade. He oversaw the launch of Volkswagen's first purpose-built electric cars and committed to spend 52 billion euros on developing battery-powered models which while imposing big cost cuts. But his tenure was mirrored by repeated clashes with Volkswagen's powerful German Works Council, which represents most of its 300,000 workers in the country and occupies 10 of the 20 seats on the company's supervisory board. These provoked outrage from unions last year after privately suggesting that Volkswagen had 30,000 excess stuff in Germany. Volkswagen's Works Council leader Daniela Cavello said the group wanted to ensure the job security and profitability remain equally important corporate goals in the coming years. Our focus as an employing organization is clear. All our colleagues must be involved. Today's decisions pay tribute to this. The announcement by Volkswagen comes just hours after Dees posted a holiday message to workers as they start their summer break. I am very satisfied with our performance. I have no doubt that we will gain further momentum in the next months. He wrote adding that sales had been hurt by shortages and semiconductors and other bottlenecks. However, his management style and propensity for comparing Volkswagen unfavorably to electric market leader Tesla, which has built a plan in nearby Brandenburg, have been consistently criticized by workers, representatives. In an interview last November, Cavello also criticized these for problems with Volkswagen's software development program as well as recent poor performance in China, its largest and most profitable market. Dies had overseen the amalgamation of Volkswagen Group's disparate software teams into a company called Cariad, but the unit had been plagued by delays and had exceeded its budget. Cariad has probably brought too many problems and challenges for the Volkswagen Group and the individual brands, said Ferdinand Dadenhofer, director of the Car Center for Automotive Research and Duisburg. Missed production starts and software problems have cost a lot of money. Dies, a former BMW executive who has a rare outsider within Volkswagen, will be replaced by Bloom, who was born near Volkswagen's Wolfsburg headquarters. The new chief has spent his professional life within the group, most recently as head of its Porsche brand, which is said to be partially floated later this year. Bloom, who will remain Porsche chief executive for once he takes over Dees's job, has overseen the development and market launch of the electric Taycan model, which has overtaken the classic 911 in sale. My focus will be on the customer's brands and products, he said. The human component is always at the forefront for me. Team spirit, fairness, and passion are essential for success. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching the video.